I'm going to try to do without this, but I'm not the loudest speaker, so wave in the back if you can't hear me and I'll pull it up. First greetings from Penrose. Um, I know Bill and Ellis are very sad that they couldn't join us today, but Ellis has a three month old and I don't think his wife is letting him leave the house quite yet. <laughs> um, I'm really privileged to be able to show you some of the new stuff that we've got coming out and uh, I don't have everything I'm going to talk about, but I'll start with a little show and tell. All right, let's see. The first one, some of you may already actually have this kit. Yep. This is the Antar. Um, it is the latest in our new designer signature series. This is the second one. Um, the first one, of course, being Vern's kit. Um, this is a really cool rocket, and if you haven't seen on social media, we have a video of Bill talking about his dad and a lot of the inspiration about this rocket. So um, this one's really special to us and special to Bill. And, uh, Pretty fun build, pretty cool kit. So, and that one's available now. Um, Can I ask? Yeah, go for it. Do you know are they going to bring out any other Harry Stein uh, designs? Uh, like we are Fafner, maybe. We're planning to continue the designer signature series. I don't think we're planning another Harry Stein. Okay. Um, we've got a couple of other people who were we're kind of putting ahead in the line. Well, there, that's fine. So. I mean, maybe eventually. Yeah. Yep. It all depends on how generous Bill wants to be with his dad's designs. So. <laughs> Understood. Um, since, uh, since Randy spoiled the surprise, here is the new Estes Super Mars Snooper. Of course, bring back, bring back the classic kit, um, a little bit upscaled. This one should be hitting um, the website in September. We're running a little behind this year. COVID has gotten everybody messed up. Um, and then we have two new releases as part of our Space Core line. Um, Dark One just became available this past week, expert level build, and then the Vesta Intruder is coming out, I believe, in August. Um, the Space Core line is really neat. It's kind of sci-fi inspired, um, fun kids to, to build and fly. The Vesta Intruder, when it's built and put together, is, is a really unique, kind of interesting shape. Um, so if you're looking for something different, couple other things that I didn't bring. Um, one more thing that we have coming um, for the holidays is an Astrocam only add-on. Um, so it's able to fit most Estes rockets. Um, so it's got a, a couple different size straps that you can attach um, to rockets you already have in your collection. And so you'll get uh, rocket video from, from anything you watch. Um, another recent release that we had uh, back in the spring was the StarTech starters. Um, so this is one of the first big innovations that's come out of Estes since we bought the company, um, which is redoing the, the formulation on our starters to get it a lot, um, a lot better performance. So we had heard some feedback that it wasn't the best, um, and we're really proud of that. And that's in full production now. Um, we've also heard <laughs> that you guys have had a hard time getting a hold of our 29 millimeter engines. We've made some improvements to those processes, so those are more readily in stock. Um, and for anybody who is a teacher or knows a teacher, we've been doing a lot of work on our lesson plans, um, always trying to get like the latest generation engaged in rocketry. Um, and now, you know, you guys may recognize this. This is our big Christmas release, our officially licensed Whoa. New Shepard. <laughs> so this is a 1 to 200, don't quote me on that, um, ready to fly. It's part of our new um, line of what we call flying display models. So if you have the 1 to 200 Saturn V, this is very similar um, in style and inspiration, and it comes with a display stand. So you can either show it off in the box, show it off out of the box. Um, we're really excited to be partnering with Blue on this. So that's uh, gonna hit for Christmas this year. Um, hopefully November is, is the goal. And, uh, is Jeff included? <laughs> no Jeff included, yeah. But You're gonna is, have to bring your own astronaut for that one. But um, that is a collaboration with uh, Blue Origin? Oh. It is, it is Excellent. officially licensed. Um, and this is hopefully the first of a couple different things that we're doing with them. Mm -hmm. um, kind of going back to the education space, we, um, we've partnered with Club for the Future, which is Blue Origin's uh, charity um, that they use to promote STEM education. So 
we're designing lesson plans around this rocket for classrooms, um, some other fun stuff that we haven't announced or prototyped yet. So um, looking forward to, to continuing our work with them. So. Excellent. Yes, sir. Uh, will you be doing anything with SpaceX? I can neither confirm nor <laughs> deny <laughs> that we're doing anything with SpaceX. Confirm. What I would say is to save your allowance for the spring, uh, <laughs> when hopefully we'll be able to, to well fulfill lots of wishes. So, <laughs> yeah. So a lot of the shop at Hobby Lobby, and it looks like the stock in Estes has decreased the past several months. Mm -hmm. And I wondered if you could speak to when the stock will increase. Sure. Um, so as I alluded to earlier, um, we've been having a lot of supply problems because of COVID. Just, I'm sure you've all read the news articles about the global supply chain just imploding on itself. Um, and Estes, like many other people, uh, have fallen victim to that. Um, we did just ship out, like this morning, um, a big, you know, we had a container come in full of Hobby Lobby product and right back out it went, um, thanks to the awesome work of our people in our warehouse. So hopefully um, you'll be seeing that ramp back up over the next uh, next couple months. So Hobby Lobby has placed some big orders and hopefully that's to stock the shelf near you. So. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Are there any uh, new motors in development? There's rumors that uh, you were handling like, some uh, like higher average impulse, 18 millimeter motors, you know, 29 millimeter motors. Mm -hmm. well, we're always working on new products, um, particularly engines have been a, a focus of ours in the past few years. Um, I don't have anything official to announce yet. Um, but we've so got. Can confirm <laughs> yes, I can either confirm. But do we need to save our allowance? <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite as eminent. Um, no, I mean we're we're always looking at kind of the market and, and what people are looking for. Um, but I don't have anything specific to announce on that front yet. I was going to ask the same question as this gentleman put his hand up the same time. I, but I have a more specific focus sure. in particular. Quite a number of people, including myself, would like to see an 18 millimeter high thrust for boosters. Yes. Okay. Something like the B14. 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 <laughs> yes. I there, there were in the old days technical issues with the B14, and it's probably not coming back unless there's a new process. But there's also the C5, mm -hmm. but you don't make it in a dash zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some of us would just love to see that to get those heavier two stagers off the pad fast. Oh, sure. Uh, what I would say is um, one of the things that we've been looking at recently is something that is a little bit unique for Estes is that traditionally we've done the vast majority of our sales and distribution through other people, through Hobby Lobby or Hobby Shops. Um, one thing that's been great about COVID is that it's shown us how powerful our own website can be for specific products that are um, targeted towards hobby audiences that maybe aren't of interest to Hobby Lobby, but could be interesting to more people here. So um, it's definitely something that we're, we're looking at is unique runs of small batch specialty engines. So, of course, there's a lot of certification that goes into that and a lot of work. So not quite at save your allowance level yet, but it's, it's on the table. Yep. You mentioned the uh, Astrocam standalone. Is the full Astrocam kit available yet again? Yeah, uh, we released, you mean, is it in stock or is well, it? Yeah, well, it was released. Because <laughs> that's too no, much. I was, at, <laughs> I was at Narcon last year mm -hmm. when Bill had it on display. And then I went to order one, and it's not available. And so I haven't tried again recently. You should have ordered it from E-Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can do a swap, Randy. <laughs> I ordered them as soon as they came out. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. <laughs> so the if there is something on the web um, that isn't there, we've started adding, because of this problem, um, a notify me. So if you give us your email, we send an email to the people oh, okay. on the list first before we, we go live. Okay. So um, do do sign that. up for that. And I mean, I've already signed up on your website. So. Yeah, I, we just don't always push you know, to the entire mailing list 
AstroCam is back, but if you're on the specific AstroCam list, we do send yeah. that. Yeah, I'll do that. Yes, sir. As a follow-on to that, yeah. um, the standalone AstroCam, mm -hmm. for those of us who already have the camera because we bought the rocket or the, mm -hmm. or the starter kit, will the housing, the standalone housing, be available as a separate part, or will we have to buy another camera? No, it comes with the camera. Huh. Yep, that's one set. <laughs> Any other questions I can answer for you all? Well, thank you guys very much. I appreciate your time. And of course, Estes really appreciates your business and your, your dedication to the hobby. Um, you guys wouldn't be here if you weren't, you know, serious rocketry fans. And from what I hear, that usually starts with Estes. So thank you. Yeah. <laughs>